Hello everyone, Mayor Jordan here, and welcome back to City Skylines 2, where yes, we are starting a new city, and yes, I've got a couple of mods installed. I can't actually remember them off the top of my head, so I will put them in the description. <laughs> um, actually, I can tap out here and I can let you know a little bit, perhaps. Uh, so the ones I have installed are called Hook UI. It's just some UI stuff, so I'm gonna probably avoid those, actually. Uh, unemployment Monitor, apparently just makes the unemployment a little better. Uh, to like see what's going on uh, school capacity balancer extended radio I'm hoping it means I can like just shut the radio off um, extended road upgrades you'll see what that is it's pretty neat of what I've seen uh, one's in alpha so God knows how it's going to go but it is traffic lights enhancement and then we have city monitor which is just something I used to use as well um, and extra landscaping tools anarchy and I think that's it uh, so, like, you know, the, the rest of them are just sort of helpful mods there. But the reason that we're restarting uh, is because my other one, you know, is my first one. I, I'm, I don't really... I didn't necessarily want to, like, go all out of fixing it. I just... Uh, I wasn't ready for that, you know? I, I felt like, you know... I've, I've learned from San Jorge, and now I'm ready to move on. Uh, I think we're going to do Sunshine Peninsula. Uh, I, I talked in my last episode about, oh, I'm moving on, so I won't do that too much here. But uh, at the end, I did look at Sunshine Peninsula, and it actually seemed really nice because it's got the European theme that I wanted, plus the climate that I wanted. Um, so, yeah, I think that's what we're going to go with. I don't know what name we're going to go with. I had San Jorge last time. Um, I've named my stuff some pretty random things at this point, but we got like a European, uh, thing, which I mean, Onwick and, uh, Yellow Pine, not really a one, but Onwick definitely felt very, uh, European in a way, well, at least English. Um, but like with it being that warm, I mean, up to 27C, I mean, that could be, that could be British, depending, I wouldn't call it a sunshine place though, maybe like France, like parts of France. <laughs> um, what do I want to name it? I actually don't know. I, this is not something I really thought of ahead of time because yeah, San Jorge before. Um, I don't really think, I mean, I don't really know what this is modeled after. Does it say? So a peninsula comprising of a plateau and some islands basking in the internal sunshine and a warm sea breeze. Um, the terrain provides a lot of easy, uh, easily Easily buildable space to find the thriving city. I don't know why that messed me up so much. With literally no rain and steady warm temperatures throughout the year, this is the ideal choice for those loving the sun. Um, so that makes me think of, oh, you know what, I'm on a uh, new Benidorm. <laughs> there we go. Why not? Uh, Benidorm, uh, Spain, where all of the English people go, including my in-laws and cause some troubles let me tell you i'm gonna turn natural disasters off i'll be honest because it's just the tornadoes that got me last time um they were just kind of a uh, like it didn't really do much and it was just more of a hindrance every so often um well maybe i don't know. yeah i'll keep them on whatever maybe there'll be different ones on this one that i won't know about maybe maybe it'll surprise me and we'll get a tsunami or something uh, I mean, there is a chance. This is actually a pretty neat looking area. Okay. So, it has a starting with this, which is pretty cool. So, a, uh, like, general two-lane highway going into a kind of, I guess, like, just four-lane arterial street. Um, so yeah, we don't have the upgrades yet, but as you can see, I can now make elevated things, retaining walls, uh, keys. So, I can have a key side thing. God, uh, and tunnels and so many other things. So that's the hope of, you know, just little things like that to make things a little bit nicer. Um, so yeah, I, I guess the best thing to do is just continue this four lane road a little bit. Um, my plan is to not get too grid-esque with this. Uh, as you know, it's very easy done. So I, I'll try to behave myself. Let me go ahead and let, let's see, do... Okay, so it doesn't really show any other options, but I am going to go ahead and disable the radio, or the ads, rather. Um, so yeah, I think get some, like, yeah, get maybe a little distance from there. That's kind of neat in a way. Do I want that? No, just slow stuff down, really. Um, 
Also, I don't know. I'm, I might try to go without roundabouts for a little while just to see if we can manage to do it because I think it'd be kind of cool. Um, and then, do I want to start? Let me pause it. Do I want to start with like a little pedestrian street or something? That could be kind of cool. Or maybe a. I could do where they come from this side. Let's say here. Uh, and then. How long is this? So this is 240. 224, that's fine, I guess. So what if I do something like that for now? Because, yeah, I, I want to lay this out like, you know, somewhat nice, of course. Um, let's do this at like just a general angle there. Um, so I'll. I'll I'll try to pre pre plan, pre plan a little bit here of where a few things are going to go. So, um, do we have we do have groundwater? That's great. So we'll need to eventually get a road over to here, and that's okay. That won't be such an issue. And what, like I said, I'm gonna try to make this relatively. Um, Flexible is not the word I guess I'm going for, but I guess that is kind of the word I'm going for. Um, but I guess a little bit more unique than we, you know, previously had, of course. Um, and, you know, try to make it not so uh, straight and bland. <laughs> That's the hope. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll see if we can figure out a good way to connect these. Uh, but I am starting with that for now, but only because I'm curious of maybe trying to pedestrianize quite early here. Make this like a decent little, I guess, plaza or something like that. Because um, that be, could be kind of neat to have. Um, and then we'll kind of just maybe go from there. Uh, and this might be okay. I could just tell them not to turn, I was going to say, I could tell them not to turn left, but then they never really get in there, so that'd be a bit of a downfall, wouldn't it? Um, didn't mean to open that. So yeah, let's just try to build some things here. Let me see which way the wind is facing, because that's going to obviously be an important one. What's this thing? I have no clue. What is that? <laughs> it's uh, it's going to be a bit of a thing of finding out here. Uh, so yeah, I want to see... Uh, wind, air pollution. So it faces that way. So I think ideally, I might want, and I, I need to think ahead of time, of course, of where, you know, I'm gonna build everything to some degree. Um, I'll probably end up expanding this way more, but I don't know. Uh, but maybe we'll just build like the industry here for the time being to kind of play it safe uh, it might be the the better idea uh, and then I guess I could do what kind of future does music wait have if no it look I turned you off well. go away <laughs> I refuse to listen I refuse so I wonder if I could do and yes, I get this is a an intersection, but I'm just curious of something here. Um, I might use roundabouts in this situation, just to keep that as like kind of our integral like part of the city for now. And then, will I need a bigger road for that? I probably will do. That is one thing that I always have the regret of is not building a larger road in the beginning. And maybe that's something I need to consider now. Um, let's see, I'll do it on the outside just so it kind of matches up there. That might be something that I will appreciate later on. We'll see. And I, I guess I don't have the one way for this right now, but I guess that's not truly the biggest worry as of now. Um, and then... Yeah, I guess like just start building some stuff up this way. I don't actually have like a lot of, I kind of expected to have a little bit more uh, hillside to work with, like, or, you know, a little bit of, I guess I should have known when I said plateau, that would be quite flat. 
but I was hoping there would be a little bit more topography, if that's the word I was looking for, uh, to kind of, I guess, find a, like, kind of building style, I guess, or like a, a way to build a realm without, you know, like, a, affecting everything, but, uh, or with not affecting everything, but, uh, have a way to build around like the natural landscape to sort of make everything look nice but yeah we just we make it work as is you know that work oh no that'd be nice though uh so we'll, we'll just pop one of those in there um one thing i will do is i'll bring uh that let me bring that oh it's because it's anarchy you know what that's okay i can deal with anarchy in this situation uh <laughs> for these kind of things anarchy's fine with me there we go. Uh, well, thank you for letting me do that, I guess. So there we go. We at least have the power station hooked up. And then, yeah, I think having just a little section through here that can become the area that just ends up being like a lot of the um, industrial zone. Then we can have like, you know, a little maybe try to keep some stuff off of here uh, you know in the future but for now we can have this be the commercial zone same with this little bit and maybe like a mixture of residential like i said i'm not going to try to just fill in full areas this time so i'm hoping that's something that'll work a little better and a little more in my favor uh but we will see all right just double check where everything is where i haven't got the new mods i truly don't know everything so uh, bear with me as I figure some stuff out, but let me go ahead and hit play. Uh, I think what I want to do first, we'll go ahead and add in our, uh, our desired bits here. Maybe I'll turn it on to two just to make sure it's going. There we go. Uh, then, you know, start kind of getting these in here. I guess these don't really matter too much in the way of size. They're kind of just they are what they are and I'll just expand that as time comes and maybe try to make it a little bit fun and wrap around to here somewhere maybe to here I don't know um, but that's just gonna be the way for now and of course yeah I forgot about this so let's pause it let's say we can go and again I keep wanting to just use the two lane because that's you know the habit for sure but I'm gonna go ahead and Again, make the executive decision to not do that. And then let's do that there. Um, so I think the one thing I am going to do here is I'm going to delete this and this here. And then I want to rework this ever so slightly, which I know is very quick already. But I just don't really want to build like that, to be honest. So what I'm going to do is this. And then, yeah, I need to figure out how to connect this up. Um, it doesn't really have like a road system, like a little more, I guess I need to figure out how to do it, but I'm thinking if I do this, yeah, okay, so that keeps that fine. And then that should be okay there, I think. And I could, I could put a way in there, but I might make them go to that area to do that for now. Um, but that may work a little bit more in our favor. And let me go ahead and connect this sewage pot back up. There we go. And then I can go under and delete this bit. Eh, there we go. <laughs> it's hard to click those sometimes. So that should thin work. Right? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. So I know this is weird. It looks odd. That's for sure. But there's, there's hope within here somewhere. Don't worry maybe um but yeah since this is kind of like a you know whatever you know pedestrian area i can do these little funky things i didn't see what degree i put that at so i might actually rebuild that so let me do from here let's go short 85 
here. 79, why not? That's all it wanted me to do. And then, oh God. <laughs> Trying to get the same angle is just about impossible there. But that's about, actually I think that's spot on, so that's good. And, uh, it's not perfect, but it's also not the worst. And then, you know, I was going to say, you can do this, which is kind of neat, which makes like little plazas out of it. And then, yeah, I guess, I mean, I guess I can connect this even to a main road. It's not like, it doesn't really hurt anything. I don't think. <laughs> Famous last words. But I'm hoping to build around this in some neat way. Because then I'll come through here. Maybe. Oh. I'm trying to get that to go straight is, or uh, perfect is a difficult one. What if I turn this off? Is there a Nandi and a Nandi or is it just... I think that might just be how it is. Yeah, I guess it doesn't have to be perfect, but that's, I think, about as good as I'm going to get there. We'll go and turn this back on. And then I'll keep that there. So I'll have that just to be able to go through that area. We can. Don't know why that doesn't want to go mostly straight, but sure. How about if I do this? There we go. I can at least visually make it work for me. I guess. Ooh, that's something. <laughs> that's one uh, thing of uh, yeah, having that on is maybe not the worst idea. Uh, so yeah, that's probably going to get bad. But I don't really care. I'm more just curious how this sort of like pans out. It's early in the city's life, so it's not as intense as, uh, you know, some previous times we've had with uh, doing this kind of thing. Uh, so let's do that. We can get maybe another little business in here, like so. Try to get some different sized businesses. That's kind of my hope with doing this a little bit as well. And I like the idea of this being like a little business area. And then, well, houses build this small? They will, okay. Well, that's great. But yeah, I'm hoping just doing stuff like this might actually just make for some, I guess, more interesting um, decor, but also better dynamics with the employment and everything like that. That's primarily the hope with doing this. Uh, so we'll see if that, you know, culminates to something that actually works, but I think it should do. So let's do, yeah, maybe something like this. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason with what I'm doing. I'm sure that's, you know, obvious enough, but um, I'm basically just trying to make it, I don't know, kind of be semi full but also just kind of fun in a way as well um so yeah maybe like that and then to there because i think that would be all right and then that gives us a little bit more room to to expand here which i'll just for this area i feel fine with using that um I mean, that should be a pretty easy way to uh, get to and from work there, thankfully. So, And when we get enough money up, or the upgrades or whatever it is, I'll probably go ahead and turn everything into... Or uh, use the first points to um, either get the probably some parking. Just so I can maybe put it along here somewhere for getting in here. Uh, the reason I wanted to do this, even on like a small scale, is I saw someone on... Uh, Reddit that had made a full-fledged, very intense uh, 
only pedestrian city with uh, the... Oh, there it is. Nice. Wow, that is a lot bigger than I thought that would be. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I need all that much, but geez. Can I, like, make this smaller? Um, maybe. I don't... Maybe I just don't need, like these things as much it'd be nice if the ui of this was just a, maybe a little smaller um i don't feel like i need fire hazard crime rates yeah probably there sewage i usually care mostly about sewage and water and electricity um that's a little better but again i wish that was smaller um i'm the unemployment monitor okay so i see so that's nice to see. So that should be easy to sort of look at. At least I can just open it quickly here. Okay, I need to move them out of the way. <laughs> yeah, so at least I could get to them kind of quickly if need be. So that's, I guess, the main thing there. I don't know if that's any easier, to be brutally honest, but whatever. All right, so more demand. Um, of course, this is going to be... Uh, very different when we get, I guess, the availability of, uh, the larger homes and everything as well, so. I won't count on that staying like that too long, but, at least for now. But yeah, the kind of cool thing about this is, like, you can really just kind of, kind of go wild with it. Like, you don't have to worry too much about traffic, they're just, they're walking, so. Um, yeah, the, the walking makes that, uh, infinitely easier to kind of make either some funky shapes or, you know, whatever else, more intersections, like whatever. <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. And it just gives me more fun to put some stuff within. And if I see like cool spots that this makes sense, I'll probably put them in. Like there, I think looks cool. Um, it does something weird on that edge. Does it actually... Okay, so it actually fixes itself it's, once it's in there. I thought it would look weird. Does it work here? Oh, it does. Oh, I think it looks cool. Just like gives it a little more, um, I don't know, shape in a way. It's nice. Um, I might as well just put it on the end of them there, because why not, honestly? Um, better than just a plain old intersection. <laughs> so, sure. But I guess we'll have, like, uh, this can be our cobbled streets at one point. Built before the car. <laughs> Quote, unquote, there. You can't see the sarcasm in my face, unfortunately, when I say that. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's slow it down, rather. I was going to say pause it, but no. We'll just slow it. Um, yeah, and then just sort of, I guess, start meandering these throughout um i don't know the exacts of you know how much housing versus how much um the shopping you need and so on and so forth i, I don't know those exact estimates if there is any um but i'm hoping that with uh you know sort of maybe being a little bit more methodical to place these downs um that'll just work you know that little bit better and come out a little bit cleaner and won't have so many unemployment issues as we had in the uh in san jorge because that was it was a pain uh for sure it was uh self-inflicted but you know a pain nonetheless Let's just do that for now, and then, because yeah, we need, we obviously need like a lot of this, but I don't want to just like fill it all in because I can. So I'm just going to kind of be, I guess, uh, choosy a little bit as I go along here. Will that fill it? Okay, it will fill in there. Nice. And I'll go ahead and do that whole area. Uh, in fact, I'll leave that for a house or for a business. But I'll do this. Will that do? That yeah, will do it. Okay, cool. Just slowly uh, figuring out the limits, really, of this. Um, it's kind of the... I think the most interesting part of doing it this way is... Because you get all different style of homes this way, too. Oops, I actually don't really want that there. 
Uh, but you get all the different style homes too, which is really neat. Instead of it all just being stuck being like the same, you know, whatever was going on in other ones, but so that's kind of fun. Uh, so they need lack of, so it's a lack of labor. That makes sense. I mean, there's not many people here yet, so that kind of, that kind of tracks. Um, but yeah, I think as we continue to get more here, it probably won't be such a big issue here in, you know, New Benidorm. Um, I wonder, what if I do this? Okay, so kind of just does this little, like, um, I guess a three by three or a three by two and then a two by two. So, okay, that is a fair one. Um, I don't think that's, you know, so sad. I don't think that's big enough, actually, the room I left there. I like leaving some of these, like, little plaza corners as places for the businesses. I know I need less businesses than I need housing, so um, maybe I'll just go ahead and plop down where I think businesses will be good and then the rest I can turn into houses. Um, probably not the worst idea. So I think something like that's probably good because yeah, right now it's all about just like, give me a house, you know? Uh, let's fill that one just fully in. I'll fill in some of these small ones just like fully with houses because they'll be easy to uh, to fill in and not have to really worry about like shape or anything. Uh, we'll fill that in. I think in uh, my plan in future episodes, by the way, is I'll probably just go ahead and edit these around a little bit. I just wanted to make these first few at least. Um, I actually didn't mean to do that. I meant to do this. Uh, I just wanted to make these first few, you know, like a little bit more uh, seeing everything uh, that I'm, uh, I guess, kind of putting together. So hopefully you don't mind. But um, yeah, so just something a little, a little nice maybe. <laughs> depending on your view. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, you know, the, there was a big gap of me not playing. And uh, I, I've had the desire, of course, just not the, uh, I guess, willpower to, to play it before. And the only reason I got some of the mods was just because I, I thought it might make it a little nicer, um, you know, for certain things, just to kind of, I guess, make I don't know, make for better content, but also just make for better uh, housing structures and whatever else the game will, you know, then allow me to do. Uh, so that's that's the hope, at least. Uh, also, if you're wondering my rhyme or reason with doing any of this, there's, again, I think I've said none, but definitely none. But I'm enjoying it. <laughs> it's, it's oddly satisfying just plopping all of this down and seeing what what sort of turns up because yeah like you know everything these two are the same because they're the same size but you know this one's slightly different um you have you know like this one with a very long uh garden and like you know a little like gazebo-esque woodshed thing and there we go we're a tiny village awesome uh you got like a greenhouse maybe sort of thing going on um so that's pretty cool then, you know, the, the European style homes are actually pretty neat. Like the little, um, you know, greenhouse conservatory sort of things. Conservatory, I would usually say attached to the house, but it just depends, I guess, depending on where of Europe you are. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really neat to see. This specific gravel of this color is exactly the kind of gravel that my brother has where he lives in England. And it's... It's just, it's, it's spot on. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. The house ain't too far off. I mean, this kind of house too. So I feel like that says a lot. Um, which the garden's not too far off either. And a spare garage. So, I mean, who knows, you know? Maybe it's all meant to be. It's like they planned it or something. Um, so for the medical, um, I like the idea that maybe not being directly on the main road for you know just like a little bit of room to i guess 
or do I? Maybe, maybe I will just put it on the road. I was gonna say, I think I liked it having a little bit of room to sort of like do its own thing and like have room to move on or like move, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, a little bit of room to like get traffic in and out, but I don't think it matters as much as, it, at least I feel like it used to when I, you know, kind of had to worry about it. Um, you know, maybe famous last words there, but that's at least like what I start, you know, currently kind of think. Um, probably wrong. <laughs> so, you know, there is that. Uh, I'm going to buy this just to put the landfill over here, by the way. Uh, because I don't really want to, you know, get it uh, all up in people's faces right now. Uh, so let's just do... Which side do you want to build on this side? Okay. Let's do... Maybe we'll just go... Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Let me pause it. And then... Oh, uh, yeah, it just won't let me because of that. Okay. Well, I can do... Oh, it's still too far. I can do this, at least. That's about right. Yeah, a little bit off, but... It's pretty close. And then I'll go ahead and hit play there again. Um, then yeah, we'll see if I can connect this up semi nicely. And then eh, 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 there we go. <laughs> Not too shabby. So yeah, we have uh, lack of labor. That makes sense. Uh, but hey, we do have the slightly larger homes now, which automatically uh, I'm going to be placing in in these little bits that were, you know, a little too uh, small for the other houses to go in. I kind of expected them to be able to, and I forget that they couldn't, like here. Uh, and then I'll probably just find some other places for them, but I can also do this, which is quite nice. Oh. Okay, there we go. Uh, I think I can even... There we go. I can get them there. Uh, anywhere else that, that may be useful. I mean, all of this area truly would be better off with this sort of housing. Um, but I'm sort of letting it survive. I am going to go ahead and replace their house. Sawzall. Um, let me do this. And then speed it up. I'm too impatient. Do that. Speed that up a little. Do that. There we go. Then I will do this as well because, you know, it just doesn't make sense to really have smaller housing in this situation, especially in a European setting, to me at least. Um, I mean, there's obviously a lot of single family homes, but, you know, it depends on where you are. Um, so, yeah, I could very well, you know, kind of have this as you know sort of I've got my two arterial roads um that can you know sort of get to both sides of this and they can get out on each way obviously this is still the main way no matter how you look at it um but yeah it seems to be okay for now obviously everyone's sort of parking up here I just realized I turned off everything there I was like where where'd my UI go so I need to unlock oh so actually parking areas takes a second so I have to do that next time but I will go ahead and unlock, do I want to do advanced road services or do I want to go ahead and move on to getting something else? I don't know. Let, let's start with advanced road services. I feel like that's a smart first step and then we'll go towards the other a little bit later on. But now you can see, yeah, so we have the like, you know, we can put the barriers on the wall instantly, which they don't show up right now, retain wall, but yeah, and then I can put keys on. Um, that was always there, so that's fun. Oh yeah, and of course the, the traffic lots and everything, which will be actually quite useful, so, um, that is good. Oh yeah, we need death care, that's always something to remember. Um, so death care, let's see, oh, it actually would fit right here pretty well. And then we could go, let's have that there, because then I can... 
use that as a guideline to, you know, not build that way specifically. Um, but I can do that to sort of work away from it. Um, by the way, I think this will be the only true pedestrian area, and this will be that something that probably doesn't move past, like, the kind of condo e phase, because I think anything bigger than that would be quite silly. Um, so I am kind of keeping that, you know, in my mind as, uh, building to some degree, and I realize those houses just got demolished, but I would be amiss to say that I'm worried about it. Um, <laughs> so let's do something like this. I wonder if I can manage to turn that into a... Yeah, I was thinking probably not. It's not the best, but it's obviously not also the worst thing in the world to have it like that. Um, but I want to do this because I like the idea of being able to have them sort of be able to live, but also walk towards that and everything. So I think that's quite a cool one. There we go. So I know that's weird looking. That's fun. That's when we come in and get a little more creative. I wonder... I don't know if that looks better, but it's something. <laughs> and then let's do that. Then we can sort of just rebuild within that area. That's fun. Alright. So, we'll go ahead, come in here and just, you know, do our thing with kind of fixing this up a little bit. Um, that probably be pretty good on that front. Uh, we'll have to obviously start working on actual, um, more normal uh, living arrangements versus, I guess, like a, sort of the old city vibe I've got going on. Uh, but I don't think that'll be very difficult to remedy at all. Um, can I put like, yeah, there we go. I love the, the look of the, the single ones like this, so. Sort of my favorite thing to do here. There we go. I just love, I love the look of row houses. It's one thing that, um, I think Philadelphia and Philadelphia and Baltimore, you know, obviously do very well. Um, there's just something very, very, uh, I don't know, kind of like beautiful about them. And, you know, there, there's like a sense of community that you don't get when, I guess, not living in them. Um, but there's something very nice about it. And, uh, yeah, big fan. <laughs> Basically is what I'm getting at. Big fan. I'll do that because I'm not too worried about like what would go there. I will put in some stores here. Okay, so that's building itself in, I think, relatively nicely. Uh, do you need to fix this area? And honestly, I think I'll just turn it into a little store when the time comes and it wants to put itself in there. Because, um, yeah, we obviously need a lot more uh, room for housing now, but that's totally fine because that just you know, gives us fun times now. Uh, now, I want to go ahead and start kind of getting this area filled in a little bit more. I like to give, or I want to give a little bit of uh, a breathing room here so it doesn't get too crazy. And, um, I'm going to try to make sure that connections are good, and yes, once we unlock public transport, I'm going to attempt to do the best I can with that. Yeah, I've said it before, and I shall yet again, it is not my speciality, uh, try as I might, um, but I will give it my best go. Uh, and I decided to do that just because it was a nice straight piece of uh, land that I can use, honestly. Because why not? Use it when you can. Uh, so, yeah, very simple thus far. Very, very simple. But I don't think that's, like, the worst thing in the world. Just sort of keeping, keeping, <laughs> keeping life simple. 
<laughs> it's never the worst thing. Um, but yeah, I think definitely got to start building in some, uh, probably more hefty variety at some point, but that's all right. And of course these row houses, I was just saying about like, obviously the row houses, these are going to be more, yeah, the traditional or like the more European style. So like this looks like something that you would probably see. I don't know, it's got an air conditioning unit, so not in um, a lot of places I've been to in Europe, but <laughs> maybe like, maybe this would be like a Spain or a Netherlands thing, I'm not sure. Um, my Netherlands experience is always, often thinking of Amsterdam, so it's not really true of a lot of things, but this feels like it'd be very like German or Amsterdam or something of the sort, so I don't know. Um, you know, I know the bits along the canal and that's about it, so my... My knowledge there isn't enough. Uh, but let's go ahead and get parking areas. The reason I wanted parking areas is literally just to um, sort of circumvent a few issues later on. Um, but that, and then also let's go with the, let's go with the recycling center. Oh, I'm only level two. I thought I had two more points, but I'm just level two. That makes more sense. Whoops. Um, can you tell it's been a little bit since I played? Maybe? Uh, so yeah, we're going to need a school, um, and that, you know, we could, you know, continue the trend, and did that unlock? I know that unlocked all the way there, wow. I thought you had to do more to get those for some reason, um, but sure. So yeah, I want to, I think, continue this a little bit longer, especially for these kind of areas, and then we'll take the school back here. I like to go for the full upgrades. Um, just personally because I think they're nice uh, to have and everything so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that uh, but the school capacity should be better it says 3,000 I don't remember what the traditional was but I do not think it was 3,000 um, but obviously that's um, quite a bit more uh, reasonable I guess is the, the word I'm going for there um, so yeah, it's, it's nice to have. I thought I went for the curve there, but I did not. So I wanted this, so I could then do that. Then, actually let's go, where do I want to do this one? So let's go maybe here. Yeah, that's about right. And then we can connect that up and continue on a little bit. I know it's not perfect. I'm not trying to make it perfect, so that wasn't the worry there. Uh, and then I could terminate this here. And then, you know, it sort of just ends up being for this area. And in fact, I may do that uh, for now. Because, I mean, yeah, I could have this going around and everything, but I can just do that. Um, and then, you know, eventually have another way that sort of just circumvents that region. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And I think that'd be perfectly fun. Um, ooh, that looks weird. <laughs> Mostly because of the markings, more so than anything, like, I think more so than anything else there, but whatever. I'll just do that. I can't say it looks any better, but, you know, it's there. Uh, and then let me go ahead and turn off the lots there, because I think that's one thing that looks really weird. I think in general this all looks weird, but whatever. Um, what if I upgraded this to... I mean, that might not be the worst thing in the world. But I don't know. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to... Which this will be the, probably the, the thing that you would never see. Uh, or be less like at least likely to see I should say um, is the the parking lots that I'm about to put up <laughs> uh, so let's go like this uh, let me see if I can remember how these are put down okay yeah so that takes up how many spaces one two three four five cells so if I put this here, will that fit in there on this side? It will, there we go. So yeah, this is my hope to just 
sort of keep this looking kind of nice. Then it's five cells. Then we have one, two, three, four, five. Maybe. Um, we'll see if this works. So far, not so bad. <laughs> it looks great. Um, and then, where's the, there we go. I always forget how to get back to that. I'm just going to do this so I can connect them. Harsh, but it's just finding the point it wants to work with. There we go. Um, and then, I think I might just... Uh, yeah, I will do that. Because it's not going to hurt that much. There we go. And then I'll turn the lots off there as well, because I don't think they're needed. Um, I might turn them off there too, because I think they'll figure that out. Uh, mostly. <laughs> but yeah, so this just gives me a little something to work with. I just wanted to do that because I thought it looked kind of neater this way. I think I probably should use the medium one, now that I think about it. Because the medium one, I'm fairly certain they can, yeah, go between. Hmm. Okay, let me... Let me make some decisions here. This takes a moment. Don't mind me. Um, so does this also fit here? I think it does. Okay, so just a little differently. So there, now they can walk between them at least. And then... That wasn't my best move, but whatever. Um, at least they're sectioned. Oh, you can do it. I believe in you. There we go. <laughs> Not the easiest thing in the world, but we get there. Alright, cool. So, I think that's actually a little bit better. It does look better without all the fences, too. And a little more connected. Um, obviously very not what you would see. Uh, but that wasn't, again, the, the, the main main concern I was going for there. You can see the amount of people already parking over there. So, my hope was to make that better by getting them to park here instead. I may have to discourage street parking or the street parking might just get so intense that they have to. Again, the other hope is that they take public transit when I unlock that. Um, which, do I have to unlock that myself or is that just unlock on its own? Okay, so yeah, it should unlock, I think clearly this next time, next two times, yeah, two times, okay. So we're not terribly far away. <laughs> Um, we do have these larger residential uh, places now, uh, which is nice. I mean, actually, I said I wasn't going to put any of them back here, but I mean, they're right here. Come on, you know? And I could put them a little closer to the school area, um, just because. So we could have, like, you know, this, then we could put in, you know, maybe little bits, which, I mean, having this here would be smart anyways, uh, I think. So we could have that, then we could do, you know, maybe another little bit here. And why not? We could put these here. Um, yeah, we need regular residential fulfillment at this point. So I'll probably end up building some of the normal roads soon as well. And I don't really know where I'll put that. Um, but we'll see. And I think for getting the people in to here, I'll probably end up doing a bus stop like around the area. I might try to make like a little, cause I mean, they're fine to drive through. I, I don't know if the buses drive through here or not. Cause if so, I'll let buses come in. I mean, that's not gonna be the worst thing in the world. But as you can see, like it's looking pretty nice with, you know, having this sort of, you know, just chill, uh, vibe here, like this little cafe going on. Just people walking on their own. It's called Polity. I'm like, I don't know what that is. 
Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, everything looks all cute. We got a little electronics place. We got people walking their doggies. We got Brianna um, walking her dog. Currently going home. Uh, works for uh, Double Buck. Cool. Um, or would it be Double, double Buck? I don't know. Uh, anyways, this is really cute. I actually like this a lot. I think that's quite a cool design. Uh, car cars for the future. Oh, so we actually have a car lot, which is really funny to be sold in the pedestrian only area. <laughs> uh, but hey, you know what? That's fun. So let's see. I think maybe, you know, we could put a couple little bits out here. Oh, there we go. So we hit our next level of progression. We got three now. Um, I don't know what I would use it on as of yet. Like I said, the recycling center is probably the more tempting thing, so I'm gonna go for that. And beyond that, we're gonna get the emergency battery station, because that's always a good one to have. Um, it always ends up being one of those things that just, you know, ends up being useful, so. And we'll do that. That should start charging us a little bit. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, so the recycling center, I'm quite a fan of, actually, because slow as it may work it does work so um we'll just sort of let it be there but yeah i'm trying not to let myself because usually i would want to put this on like a straight bit but now i'm like okay now it has to make me build around that a little more funky so maybe it'll look better or more organic i guess organic is the word that i'm trying to like go for I'm trying to make things not look so uh rigid which i mean even this bit's you know quite quite rigid but i mean some places are just like that so i think that's fine um, I could disable, uh, the ability to park on the streets, by the way, if I wanted to. Uh, and it is tempting, because then it means they have to pay for my lots. But, like, I don't know. It, it just seems, like, kind of unnecessary. Uh, like, I'm not really worried about, like, doing that particularly right now. So I think I'm gonna leave it be, but that is something I can do in the future if I desire. We'll go and put the fireman in, and we'll put the police station in as well. Um, but that is something that I can do if I uh, ever feel the desire to do that. Um, as for budget, yeah, we're currently under about 280000 uh, which I guess makes sense. I'm not really moved, done anything thus far. Um, but yeah, we have, like, the ability to get a lot of people in. I could go ahead and add in a farm, which actually would not be bad, because look at this air. Oh my gosh, there's great, like, fertile land all around. That's amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to actually just having it out here somewhere. It'll probably need its own little road, actually. Because obviously the, the trucks are going to need to get back here. Uh, so let me build that first. Um, which I think what I'll do is maybe I'll... Do I want to do a gravel road in this situation? I don't really know. Um, but I might anyways. <laughs> uh, cause I like, I could just build like a little gravel road that comes up through here. I'll go ahead and turn that off cause I don't see the need. Oh, shoot. Okay. I didn't realize if I click on that, it then allows me to do, yeah, split phasing events, split phasing, which I don't understand. Exclusive pedestrian phase, my God, yes. And then lane direction tool. Oh. Beautiful. Okay. Well, that is great to see. Uh, that could be something that will become a uh, huge helper, honestly, for what I've been trying to, like, do in a lot of situations. I'll have to learn how to use it, of course, uh, which is easier said than done. But it's something, and that's awesome. So, let's just do like that. And I kind of want to put it on this side, because I think it'd be kind of cool to be closer to the houses. So I'm thinking, like, have it here. And then we could literally go, I think, right up to the road. And then again, this is just, you know, it's something cool that you have to build along and, like, think about. Which I think is cool. And we'll go. 
Yeah, we'll go right up against like that area. And there we go, just to have a nice little farm. And then, yeah, it's just something to build along there. I think this might be where I will cut off, you know, this sort of area. So let's say I come in here, let's go and get this going. And then, yeah, I'll cut off the, I guess, pedestrian only uh, zone for now. And then, let me take that away so I can do this instead. I want to build like right up against this. And then, wasn't perfect, but that's all right. But something like that. And then this can connect up to there. Maybe I could put some like regular housing within here. Um, like something, I guess like through here-ish. There we go. <laughs> it's always the thing of trying to get it in there without it freaking out. So I could like connect up to there now. Uh, and then that's just another way into there, of course. Um, we could even, if I can do this without the houses deleting themselves. There we go. So I can have that as well. And then that's just another little uh, way in through there. But I think that's not the worst little place to maybe put in some of these. You know what, I'm just going to fill that in. Because I'm okay with that just being some like larger homes for now. Um, and yeah, so we could do that. And hey, these uh, places moved in. So quite uh, some plain ones, but that's fine. I think they still look nice enough. This one's a little on the smaller side, which I think looks nice. I actually like this like juxtaposition of that um, with how it looks, but uh, I love the gazebos. Um, again, the gravel, getting that exact color. I actually have a, a rented Mercedes when I was, uh, and I felt very fancy because uh, I was supposed to only have a Vox Corsa. Uh, so I felt like I, I really got the upgrade, you know? Uh, they gave me a, a very fancy Mercedes, uh, just like, I don't even remember what it was. It was like brand new, uh, to rent from Enterprise. And, um, I have it parked in the, uh, lot of my, where my brother lived. And I was just like, this is, this is like peak rich Britishisms, which their house is like leased to them via their job so like they only pay for it and then like you know so it's like a whole different thing and then me having the car there was just kind of icing on the cake because you know other times I was driving a Volkswagen Polo there so a little bit different um but yeah it's really funny I love one of my favorite things about being in the UK is I really love driving the foreign to me cars they're they're quite a goof uh, just in comparison to what I'm used to, of course. Uh, cause, you know, my car, uh, I have a, a Chevy Impala, um, a newer model, and they are pretty huge. I'm, I'm about as long as some trucks sometimes. Um, I'm longer than some SUVs. Um, and it's, it's just, it's, I think it's the long, maybe one of the longest, at least current sedans that they make. And it was on purpose for me getting that, it's just I had an Impala before, I had a 2013 model, and I got into a really bad accident where the car protected me, so I was like, you know what, I want another one of those. <laughs> like, I got hit right on the door, my glasses snapped in half, and, like, off my face, and ended up going through, like, a really, like, bad accident. All I had was a concussion and a couple of, uh, traumatic... <laughs> memories but beyond that it was great <laughs> so it made me get another one basically just a newer model but yeah I love uh, I love the car I just I would not mind to have something smaller sometimes I'm especially living in the city it's uh oh god it would be easier let me tell you uh let me put in a couple more little bits there by the way um I think that's pretty good and I might actually come in here and put that in just cause, you know? It looks nice. Alright. Um, you know, it, it's not perfect, but I'm happy with how things are going. And I, I think I want to go ahead and put in the high school, maybe. Um, 
you know, we have the school there. The high school I may actually disconnect ever so slightly from, uh, like, you know, from this region, just because it'd be a little easier. Um, over here is not the worst, uh, just for location. So we are a grand village, and now we have public transport. So you can already tell what our focus is going to be in the next episode, um, which will be fun. Because uh, it's not my specialty. I'll be brutally honest there, but I will try. Also, love that this is just a regular football field still uh, for the Euro European one. It'd be really funny if they, you know, made like a, a soccer pitch or something, but it is what it is. Um, I'll leave that off for now, but I might. Do I want to go ahead and. I'll go ahead and just buy all that. <laughs> Why not? And then let's actually do it like that. Because then it gives me something fun to build around. Um, but that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, we have a train also that can be involved now, which is really cool. Uh, we can go ahead as well and we can unlock train if we wanted, which would maybe be a smart move. Maybe uh, getting tourists in via train instead of them driving in may not be the worst idea for us. I'm not even going to try a tram. Tram just confuses me. <laughs> Uh, try as I might, it, it just it throws me off my game. Uh, and then let's go ahead and go for, let's go and get some water treatment going. I feel like that's going to be a smart move. And I have a single one point, so park maintenance, of course, parks are going to be huge. Um, well, there's the tornado. <laughs> and I was looking for the fire and just found tornado instead, sure. Oh, there's the plateau. I didn't even see this before. That's so funny. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So yeah, if I ever, or when I, I guess I can build up on here. It just depends as to when. Uh, so that's neat to see. So yeah, we now have water treatment, which is cool. It's a little bit expensive, so I'm not going to go for that yet. So we now have these small parks and landmarks that we can work with. Um, but yeah, this has been a really simple start. This has been really slow, I know. Uh, but we're like an hour in, so I'm going to pause, or well, I'm going to move on for now, and then we'll come back tomorrow. But... I hope you enjoyed a little bit of New Benidorm. Um, you know, something different. Hopefully, you know, seeing a little bit of progress. I guess knowing the game a little bit more. But it doesn't feel like too much has gone on. I think it's going to be telling more than anything when we actually get some um, transport in and seeing how traffic uh, goes. But also, I'm not seeing any huge issues with work or anything like that, which is all I can really be asking for right now. Um... We have low density offices and we also have like all these other little farms that will probably start plopping down as well because that's going to be very smart. Um, but yeah, this one's, this must be the, is this a chicken? Yeah, livestock, it's live, livestock, livestock. So we'll put another one in around here too, uh, give us something to build on. But yeah, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Appreciate all the patience of me not uploading. I'm going to try to get this one out as often as I can. Um, and I don't know if I'll edit them. I don't know. Do you prefer them edited or do you just prefer them as they are? Because if you prefer them as they are, that's great, of course. Um, but yeah, thank you. Um, Mayor Jordan is always so much fun. Um, it's nice to actually have a separate channel just for this kind of thing because it's very important to, you know, kind of have it separated from my main channel or my Xanthor channel. I mean, necessarily not consider this a main channel, I guess. Just... Uh, and YouTube does this thing where you kind of have to separate your interests by shows now, or like by channel rather, and consider each channel a show. So it's uh, kind of fitting. I actually got to probably do it again, so look out for that. You might see me have another channel at some point. Yeah. But yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you all next time, and goodbye.